Hello guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Chiha the God and well <sighs> I'm pretty deep into my Black Clover reading and there's been a good few chapters I didn't like, a few a few arcs I just didn't like at all. Um I like the characters. I like I like the characters quite a bit. Um I don't like some of the characters. There's a few things that bother me before I get on to the main topic of the video. All these random Black Bull cast members that just pop out of thin air kind of annoys me. Uh, the house one, I think, was... The Xerxes one wasn't too bad, whatever his name ended up being. The house one was just... Bruh, like... Bruh, that whole mecha house transformation thing was just not it for me. Um, and then... It just randomly goes to, well not randomly, it goes to Julius fighting against Licht. And lo, lo, behold and whatever the fuck, I was right. That vengeance is, is goddamn Licked. But I also wasn't right because it turns out he, he got two souls in him. So he can transform between the two and that's why you can't see any magic covering the burnt uh the burn so he wasn't really like he, he was literally a burnt mic he wasn't burnt he wasn't lying uh and that's why yami Yam, yami couldn't couldn't sense that shit couldn't sense any lies or any deceit or whatever because vengeance was was right he was he was being honest uh he ended up liking both licked and julius and both of the ideals and he didn't want to choose a side and so he just let the two people that he cares about the most fight it out to the dead somehow um that was his best decision uh, i don't know i suppose um julius was molly whopping him pretty handily um but i the fight when i watched the video on youtube was sensational um but watching it reading it sorry reading it i it hit all the narrative beats it was supposed to, but I think the pacing was completely wrong. It only lasted like two chapters. Like, the Wizard King dying. The guy who's the strongest person in the story. His fight lasted two chapters. Like... What? Like, it just, or oh, three chapters, whatever it was. It was like, yeah, two, three chapters or whatever. Uh, I think the first chapter, a lot of it was, it was just talking and then the fight. Three chapters. I really think this fight should have been happening in between the other fights. Um, and be spaced out a bit more. You know what I'm saying? I think three chapters for this is crazy. Like, for example, right, if we look at Hakari versus Kashimo, that shit was like more than what was nearly 10 chapters i'd say it was hella chapters bro you know what i'm saying and you really got to get get these characters intricately bro this is julius the goddamn king of the whole goddamn wizard fucking uh clover kingdom and shit bro the strongest man in the fucking world type shit bro like what's going on bro like how he how he finna die in a three chapter fight bro like and I like the setup for it. I even I like that. I like that you know it was be because he's trying to save the kingdom. It still kind of feels weird that like him blocking that prevents him from seeing the future to react to to light or lit whatever. And because he he could only focus his power one at a time, but lit could fucking unleash that crazy ass beam. Where last time he said if he does that, that's it. He's pretty much out of it. But he could unleash this crazy ass beam and fucking manifest a light sword and attack him with a light sword before goddamn Julius could block and defend or do anything. Like as if he, he can he can't defend by himself without using his time powers. Like what's going on? Like this is supposed to be the wizard king, bro. Like what's like what's going on, bro? And I know it still portrays that Julius was obviously clearly a hell of a lot more stronger than than Lick was and you know he was basically killed by plot bro Julius was killed by plot bro you know what I'm saying and I don't, I don't really think it should have felt like that I really think they could have made it so that you really feel that 
he had no choice but to sacrifice himself from the king for the kingdom. I think the anime portrayed it a hell of a lot better. The fight was a lot better. It was an 11 minute fight. Um, and I don't know, bro. Like, Julius seems strong, but you know, I don't know. The hype, bro, there was hype for him, bro. And I don't know. I lost that hype. This is just my personal, honest opinion here. I don't know if people agree, disagree, whatever. That's fine. Comment down your, your thoughts below. I think the actual writing of it was good, the idea of it was good, but the execution of it was kind of poor, and the pacing of it was terrible. Three chapters for a, the death of one of the most important characters so far in the story, the person that's been pushing these ideals of, of, of camaraderie and, and allowing the Black Bull and da 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 and all these places come true and and him taking in people that he knows might betray him, like he, he had his suspicious his suspicions about, about, uh, about vengeance the whole time and da 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 da. And yeah, this is how he goes, bro. Like, I know there's probably the ramification of it, hopefully, lasts and da 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 da. But I don't know. I just felt underwhelmed, bro. I really, I really felt underwhelmed by Julius's death. I expected more out of it. I expected to feel more emotional about it. And I feel like the pacing was so rushed that I don't feel anything about his death. You know what I mean? And that's, that was probably my favorite character, does fire type shit. And I'm just kind of like more flabbergasted than I am emotional. Like, you know, like the Red Wedding takes you out of it. Give Game of Thrones reference here. It takes you out of it and you, you're shocked and you, you, you teary and you feel it emotionally because you care for these characters. And that moment comes out of nowhere and it's rapid, but it's built up so perfectly. This shit wasn't built up perfectly, bro. Even the, the attack randomly on the on the city, on the village, there was like hella gags beforehand. Like the previous chapter was a, a mecha fight, like between two mechas, and then the next chapter was fucking Julius fighting. Like what? The tone of this, this the, the tone of the story wasn't set up properly. Like if you look at like the pain arc, for example, or Jariah's death, that whole arc is set up perfectly for that. That you emotionally feel the the consequences and, and the emotional you know fucking drama or feeling you feel like the character is supposed to feel like you feel sad as hell that Jariah died bro you really feel that shit that whole fight is built up and then obviously when when Naruto comes back for the pain arc and he, he comes through you feel that like that whole like that song whenever that song comes on I still feel emotional thinking about it because of how emotionally impacting that shit was bro you know what I'm saying and I feel like Julius deserved a send off of that ilk, of that, of that nature, of that level, bro. And he, he just didn't get it, bro. He, he just didn't get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he did such a good thing, saved the whole kingdom, even though he could have just let them die and, and killed your man right there and then. He could have also killed him beforehand, but didn't wanna. He wanted to, to capture him. Maybe a little bit of arrogance there or whatever. But also, you know, the person that he 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 nurtured in vengeance shares the same body and da 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 um i don't know it's just disappointing bro i'm not gonna lie i'm really really disappointed by this chapter um yeah that's that's really all i gotta say man i don't know what do you guys think am i tripping bro am i overreacting it was julius's dead perfect you know what i'm saying was the pacing perfect and if you haven't re read it in a while i, I recommend going reading it anime watchers maybe y'all might not feel this way because you know anime might have fixed that pacing of it you know what i'm saying um, I'm not an anime watcher. I've never watched the anime apart from that fight scene and that's kind of what got me into reading Excuse me black clover in the first place. I watched that fight scene years and years ago two years ago, I don't know about two years ago and from then I I was always like interested like and then when I was trying to look for new things to read I was like oh, I'm gonna read black clover because that Julius fellow looked very interesting and maybe that's why maybe it's me pre-building a uh, hype or whatever uh, I expected the fight to be at least nearly as good as the, the, the anime one. And the anime one isn't even one of the best fights I've ever seen or whatever. But, you know, I felt it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I didn't really feel Julius that much in this fight. I, I, I liked the narrative. I liked everything. Apart from the pacing and the execution of his death. You know what I'm saying? He really should have came up with a better way of getting him killed. You know? Even if it was all, you know, him stopping that depleted a lot of his, his mana or whatever. You know, he's, he just said that he stores hella time in him that he can just reverse shit. You know what I'm saying? Why does he not have enough power to just reverse his, 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 his fucking blade into the stomach now? The same way he reversed the cut that he had. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. I feel like a better situation would have been... I don't know. There just should have been better situations. I don't know. I just feel like... 
It lacked something, man. It lacked something. I don't know. I hate complaining about shit, but here I am just moaning and complaining, bro. God damn. And huh, if you're watching this video, you're not gonna, you might not like the next one, cause power God, man, I'm coming at your neck next, bro. Oh, God. Anyways, been your boy, Supreme Cheer to God. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, or dislike, depending how you feel. I'm out.